I'm sure that after this tour, we're not going to complain about the little bitty things wrong with the RV now because we have it pretty comfortable. We're totally going to keep complaining about the little bitty things. <laughs> That is like a rite of passage for every RVer. You meet up, you talk about your poopsie mistakes, and then you talk about what's wrong with the rig. These are campfire stories. What? How amazing is that? That's pretty cool. Can't get enough of this. Being with you is like never ending sunshine. Feels like everything stops for a while when we look into each other's eyes. Epic. Did you find anything? Oh, yes. Uh, where's the bag? I need permission to buy this. Yes, I found actually too much. And I need... It's over my allotted budget. <laughs> then it's a no. Case closed. It's a maybe. <laughs> well, she's just like a regular RV driver. <laughs> Just kidding. Can't get enough of this. Being with you is like never ending sunshine. Feels like everything stops for a while when we look into each other's eyes. How could I ever let you go now when you're looking like that? Can't get enough of this. Being with you is a never ending sunshine. A never ending sunshine. We had no expectations, we had no idea. We had only heard about it every now and then. Coming here to the Hall of Fame, speechless. <laughs> All right, we just uh, made it to the first rest stop after we left uh, Geneva on the lake in Ohio. And uh, Lee's gonna retorque um, those tires. <laughs> Once you put the new tires on, torque them to 150 pounds, foot pounds, and then as soon as you drive 50 miles to 100 miles, pull over and retorque. Yeah. Because they will not be the same. Yeah. We, we, found, we found that out on the last time. Mm -hmm. Almost, I would say 80, 90% of them were all yeah. needed to be freshened up a bit. Yep. And we can see what the tires look like too. After 50 miles, they better, they better look new. <laughs> brand new I hope so <laughs> yeah so here at the rest area we're gonna hop out and cautiously because not all rest areas are the same yeah um actually the right side of the vehicle is right where the thoroughfare is yeah so I gotta be very careful here so she's gonna spot me yeah and uh yeah retorque it maybe get a a sandwich and yeah. then there we go on to Elkhart Indiana yep rest stops uh what RVing is all about right RV Rest Hall of Fame, here we come. <laughs> Clubs. <laughs> Make sure you have some pair of gloves right next to your tire changing kit. Nice right. moves, you're becoming a professional. It's almost like you're a tire changer in training. I always take the torque wrench down to its lowest setting, so make sure it's not on 30 foot-pounds. Make sure it's on 150. 
Minimum. Yeah, you can already see. So this right here, they were all torqued. I'm surprised we didn't lose them. I Look mean, at that one. Good call. I'm pulling over. I'm standing right here in front of the rig just so people see that there's a person. Um, there's so much traffic, so many big trucks coming by, so it's really dangerous. Even though we're at a rest stop, um, there's, it's not like the, some of the pull-ins, it's just on the side of the road basically. So there's constantly trucks going by just like right now. So always be cautious and careful and have a spotter. Well, that is done. Good. They're all torqued. They were all loose. Yeah. So once you torque it and once you put it on, set it down and torque it, as soon as you hit that road, everything just kind of yeah. wobbles. and. One side was worse than the other. Yeah, left side was definitely worse than the other. They all needed a little bit, but left side was just whoosh, out. <laughs> so we are now ready to hit the road. Yep. Aren't turnpikes amazing? Yes, it's so nice. I mean, it's so convenient because you don't have to get off an exit and worry about low-lying hanging uh, electrical cables or bridges. You just go off and on. It's awesome. And travel centers? Yeah. So much easier. Oh gosh, especially if you ran into a situation where you didn't have time to go grocery shopping and you're hungry. So you can pull in with your rig, you can go to the service station. There's usually three or four different options of fast food or whatever and you're good to go now we're having chicken salad and this one is guilt free that's what it says Gu i didn't know chicken <laughs> salad was guilty guilt free chicken salad sandwiches Yay! in, in ohio in ohio are we still in ohio sandwich and chips yes nice I'm having, I'm having the same thing just with crackers can't have bread. I try gluten-free bread, but for the life of me, if I'm gonna have gluten-free bread, I'm gonna have to bake it myself because the stuff at the store is just mm. challenge accepted. Yes. Sandwich at the Travel Plaza. Nice. Tires look great. We've inspected them. I mean, they're brand new. We only traveled about 100 miles, so they look pretty fantastic. Kind of proud of them. They're our second pair. They're torqued, they're good. We're on the way. Yes, we are. The easy life. So we are doing potty training with Emily and nothing is working. I can bribe her with chocolate, with whatever, but she's always wanted to have a princess crown. 
so now her reward for going to the party is wearing the crown and she is so excited. She even came to me herself and said, Mommy, I want to go pee pee in the party. I want to be a princess. So hopefully this is a start to a diaper free life. <laughs> Like a warm hug. <laughs> like a warm hug. <laughs> yes, she's so nice in the office. She gave me all kinds of stuff to do with the kids already. And apparently there's a Dutch restaurant here. So that's cool. We'll have to check that out. And uh, yeah, we're not too far from the pool. There is a playground. Super fun. We have a pull through. That's always a plus. And uh, so yeah, let's see. And there's fire fire rings, so we're good to go. That's all you need? Yes. We're gonna have some, maybe we won't roast marshmallows today, but we'll definitely make a fire. Well, Sophia's already pinned that the pool is on the list. So. Oh yeah, and we're not far. You can, we can walk really, that's really close. So now we're gonna find our spot and start setting up. So we just finished with Das Essen House. The buffet was fantastic. If Absolutely. you're if you're in Middlebury, Indiana, Elkhart, Indiana, stop by. It is amazing. I got some potato gravy, fried chicken breast, and some. Uh, Look at that plate. Oh. But just as we're leaving, they have a horse and carriage. So, and it's such a beautiful afternoon. So we're like, oh, should we do it? We're here for nine days. Should we do it later? But we're like, well, we don't know what the weather is going to be. So I think we're just going to have to do it now. Yeah, I think we're going to do it now. Yeah. It's a beautiful day. It is. Let's do it. Let's go horsey. rides up top.
best way ever to experience Indiana. Oh my goodness, this is scary. Daddy's clean, Daddy? She says Daddy's clean. I haven't been in that carriage. He's going. He's like, I'm ready to go. So epic. He knows the route, huh? Best part of the area, yep. a McDonald's castle. <laughs> We're gonna go in and have some fun. Let's go have some royal uh, chicken McNuggets. <laughs> what are you gonna get, babe? I'm gonna have some french fries and a milkshake. Nice. Chocolate milkshake. <laughs> All right, we get to order. bottled water so they gave you all large cups oh yeah, and your small chocolate nice shake what uh, do you say girls thank you yeah. please thank you <laughs> I'm Ooh, first and is that making that? Is that oh. emily look at your shirt it matches it's look. like your mini mouse theme how awesome, how did we know that? Wait, you guys, it has like a little trainer thing that you can hook it up to for all the other toys. Oh my goodness, maybe they have an RV. We need to find it. My only gluten-free option, french fries and a milkshake. Works for me. You know what's really good too, it sounds crazy but maybe you do it already. French fries dipped in a chocolate shake, so good. They have sweet tea. Yes! They didn't have sweet tea, they only had unsweet, because there's literally like nobody here. Yeah. Which is great for us, because you got the whole restaurant to yourself, <laughs> which is kind of weird. But in the back they had sweet tea, so she scored. Nice. So we got all extra large, she got a sweet tea, Dr. Pepper. Nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> That was my toe, thank you. Sorry. You know what's good with Dr. Pepper? What's that? French wine. French wine? No, popcorn. popcorn. Popcorn? Popcorn. Yeah, in the movie theater. Oh. Popcorn and Mr. Pibb. That's right. Actually, so that's actually a good thing. Yes. Which one are you guys? Are you Dr. Pepper or Mr. Pibb? We are total Mr. Pibb family. It's got a special kind of taste. Real smooth and easy. Get it on Absolutely. Your first double. No more happy meals. Nope. They're ready for history of RVing. History of RVing coming at you at the RV 
Hall of Fame. Yes, we're and museum. We're super excited. We drove by it and I already saw the little little trailer they used to have that they make uh, as Christmas ornaments ornaments now. It's so cute. And they're, apparently they're adding on, so. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's the time of the year, but parking is very plentiful. We have no problem parking. So we were kind of worried about that. We're like, we're going to the RV Hall of Fame. Parking's gotta be an issue. Nope, good to go. We just thought you can't come to Elkhart, Indiana without going to the museum the RV Hall of Fame, how epic is that? How it got started and where we're at now. I'm sure that after this tour, we're not gonna complain about the little bitty things wrong with the RV now because we have it pretty comfortable. <laughs> we're totally gonna to keep complaining about the little bitty things. <laughs> That is like a rite of passage for every RVer. You meet up, you talk about your poopsie mistakes, and then you talk about what's wrong with the rig. These are campfire stories. But you're right. Being at the Hall of Fame, it definitely makes you appreciate, you know, all the technology that goes into the RVs, the manufacturing process, all of it. And I'm so glad we can take the kids to experience that. So, it's, you know what? Let's go in. Oh, That's pretty can, awesome. That is, wow. They just restored it in 1980, the car and the trailer. That is incredible. So we just showed you the first travel trailer, which is actually hooked up to a vehicle. Now this is the first class C, I would say. Mama. How awesome. <laughs> you like the Airstream? Wow. Uh-oh, new time. Extra stretch. Wow. Want just a nugget? No nugget. I think we found the Super C. The original. That thing's pretty. That's pretty awesome. And your pop ups. Yeah, look in here. This one was so. Emily, go. This is a Yellowstone. You want to go in here? I can't believe they have an actual, like, uh, wood oven in here, like, to keep you warm. Wow, well, that's dangerous. Wouldn't that maybe catch on fire? <laughs> wow, this is so awesome. I mean, how perfect for a weekend. I, I, I don't think I would full time in here, <laughs> but for a weekend, oh, this is amazing. Away from home with a family, you have a sink, a stove, you have heat, a fridge. I mean, and it's like really good quality stuff. So really awesome. I'm very impressed. Come here, you little. And you know what? 
One thing I wish we did have would be this. I love the bench seating so much. How cozy is that? Do you think you could fit in this? <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's really cozy. <laughs> so just for perspective, I'm looking at the roof. I think this is what you tow behind for the kids. Teardrops. Oh, there's our Christmas ornament. Your Christmas ornament? Yeah. You found it? Yeah, you would definitely not sit here. <laughs> Is that the bed up top? Yeah. But you can fold that up. And you can fold up the bed so you have head space. But that's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah, can we not do that? She's eating already. She feels like home. She's like, all right, what are we having? Grilled cheese? Tomato soup. <laughs> wow, this is really nice. Yeah, let's go in. Even the kids are having fun. This is so cool. I didn't expect that we're actually going to be able to go into some of these units. That's pretty neat. That's a shower. Hey, Pam. Yeah. Guess what I found? What did you find? What did you find? Is that the KYD bus? It sure is. How awesome. That's so cool. I wonder if they left Gary in the dash. We're gonna, <laughs> that would be epic if they did. That is so amazing. It's just surreal to see it on television, on YouTube, and all of a sudden you're sitting right here at the RV Hall of Fame looking at KYD bus. How epic. You know what's funny? Sophia actually matches the bus. <laughs> She came prepared. <laughs> I didn't even know what the color of the bus like was. The same color. I, don't even know, I didn't even know what the color of the bus was. Strolling down, see my reflection in the mirror. On top like you and now I'm feeling like a winner. Headed up to a world without a river. Just the thought of it makes my body shiver. I'm on the road, going nowhere with the top down. While the rest of you are stuck there. like what we need to come here again i know this is so awesome i can't believe it's so quiet she said it's always this quiet really yeah i was like how can it be so quiet when they always have events in alcard and everybody comes here oh, to fix their rigs you need to come here you guys need to this come here this is so neat this is epic exactly history how I mean, fun the first rv <laughs> I think we have like one of the earliest or latest RVs. Yes. We have the full specs. Well, well, what's amazing is that they were so capable already so long ago, the RVs. They like, were so capable in 1913 to go camping. I know. That they've been doing what for thousands of years. I mean, that's so crazy. <laughs> we got to put it in perspective. How fun. I have one question. What? How did they get these RVs in here? Slowly. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty tight in here. Yeah. There's a lot of RVs to look at. If this was an RV park, I'd definitely not be happy. I'd be like, <laughs> uh, where do I put the campfire? Yeah. I can see my neighbor's bedroom. Mm hmm If you guys are in the area, check this out. Yeah. Super fun. Can't get enough of it.